Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here, and in this video, I just want to do a quick video on the baby blue tongues uh, I currently own. Now, I apologize if at any time in this video I cough or lose my breath, I'm not feeling the best, uh, I just got a bit of a cough. But so, at this point in time, I currently have five uh, baby to juvenile, I suppose you could say, blue tongues. Uh, now, the rest of mine, like them, not all of them are fully grown, but there are some adults. But I will be covering just the teeny tiny ones. Uh, we'll just start here. So, this one here, I have it in this tank because uh, these tanks are all full. So, it's just in this little tank uh, in the middle of my room taking up space. But in here, we have the. If I can get it out, this is a brown. Queensland, uh, oh, come on, shoe lizard, there we go, this is a brown Queensland, uh, bred by Mark Prince, uh, I believe Roger Kramer now owns the, uh, adult pair, <laughs> but, yeah, these are quite nice, uh, Mark also likes to call them a reverse pattern, uh, but, all over all, they are great looking blue tongues. Uh, this guy's just got a bit of a jaw problem, I suppose. He's a uh, jaw kind of, his bottom jaw kind of hangs out a bit. But besides that, he's great. Uh, he had a bad shed uh, until his front toes on his left side, uh, I believe, fell off. Uh, which doesn't affect him. Uh, and they, it happens all the time naturally, so I'm not too worried about that. But I did put some cream on it to, uh, Make sure it didn't get infected. But yeah, that is the brown Queensland. Uh, so we'll let that be. There's a better look at him. So yeah. Then we'll go down to this thing here. Where we have two blue tongues. Uh, one again from Mark. And one from Gerbil. So let's just hook it up for lunch. So this unit here belongs to uh, that fella there who uh, was bred by Mark Prince. He's a silver uh, Queensland. And then if I can find him, where would he be? Oh. He's gone underneath the newspaper. Gosh darn. How'd you do that? Where is the entry point? Oh, oh this Here we have the baby hypermelanistic like bread by Joe Ball. Sorry about that fumbling. I forgot that it had newspaper. So I kind of just ruined these uh Nice little hiding spot under there, so I'm sorry about that, buddy. But you needed to be seen for the video. Uh, their setup is very simple. I need to top up the water bowl, but basically, this just gets filled with water. That's mealworms or dried cat food, and then they've got a bunch of just play items, such as like this roll, a uh, cohort box, they've got their hide, and a couple of logs they climb in, and rocks, and everything. Oh, so this is another bowl as well, which mealworms or uh, cat food, so on. So that is those two babies. Uh, not quite sure on the age, but the hypermelanistic baby was born in December. So he's a couple months old. And then up here we have... Get the lock on these guys. So... Um... Not sure how our luck will be on, uh, I don't really want to disturb them all while they're sleeping, so. But as you can see, there is one under there. And I assume the other one will have himself buried under there, but if you guys want to, oh, stuff it. Here is one of the little fellas. Now, these two are blotched across the eastern blue tongues. Great little guys. Uh, my mum named that one Croc. 
not Gator, sorry, sorry. I keep getting that confused. Gator, his name's Gator. And then the other one's unnamed. But they're great little pets. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next. Uh, this was just a quick little video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.